Hi everyone and welcome back. So in this video we are going to bootstrap our stuff for the AWS CDK and how that is going to help us to deploy our infrastructure for Uber Eats clone. Okay, so what do we have here? If you see, we have this simple AWS. We have AWS account already available that you need to create if you don't have because we are playing with the AWS so without account we cannot do anything. So if you talk about simply this is let's say the, this is you as a user and how you can interact with AWS. This is let's say user who is trying to use the resources from AWS. There are many ways. I mean, first of all, you can just use CLI and you can just use a UI console. But that's like you manually type the commands or you access the UI console. So this is CLI and this is UI console. But what are the other frameworks which are available, which does this all the automation for you? Let's say I wanted to create any resources or I wanted to deploy the applications or a particular stack. There are many frameworks available. You can use a serverless. This is actually a framework which is more into serverless, but this is on the same line that you want to deploy your app, you want to deploy your APIs, you can use a serverless framework. This is like a third party vendor tool. Using this, you can deploy your application. Or you can use AWS CDK that we are talking about. That's uh, provided by AWS only. It's just like uh, some AWS CDK is a library which is available in the TypeScript, Java, Python and all. And you can just use that to deploy your application there. And all these things, I mean, if you talk about the serverless AWS CDK, they all use a cloud formation to create the resources on AWS. So cloud formation is nothing but an AWS component. So this is like cloud formation. It gets all the instructions what needs to be created on AWS. These resources can be inside a VPC. I mean, obviously inside a region. So when you create an account, you will get a region and Inside region, you can also create a VPCs. But most of the resources like S3 bucket uh, and CloudFront and all, those are not uh, VPC agnostic. Like if you are creating a C2 instance, then obviously it needs to be inside uh, the VPC. Virtual private cloud, VPC is a component of AWS, cloud formation, VPC and all. So AWS knows how to do it and we are just writing a code for it. So what in the prerequisites, what all things you need is you need the AWS CLI. I will talk about it like how you can install it. A simple AWS account, Node.js, IDE, AWS CDK toolkit, that's a NPM module. And we can get started with the simple uh, TypeScript based project, which is do using AWS CDK and all. So uh, I'm using Mac. This is just a simple AWS CLI bundler and how you can check that you have AWS already there on your system. Uh, you can go to the terminal. And type AWS command. If you have AWS CLI, that's it. I do have AWS CLI. That's why I'm able to see this command help and all. Okay. So that's you need to have AWS CLI. You need to have AWS account. That's an important part. You need to have AWS account with one administrator user i already have shown my aws account and you will create a simple uh, cdk workspace uh, workspace sandbox i mean i have already shown you my aws account and we are going to create a one administrator user and we'll just create a role group and basic simple user with the name of cdk user which is going to have administrator level permissions and then we are going to use the access key and the secret key to configure the AWS. So how we do it simply is AWS configure. What it is about? I mean, if you already know, you can skip this part. AWS configure means when you are executing commands from your terminal, how AWS knows that what is the user, what is the reason you are executing and who is the user and the user identification is happening with the access key ID and the secret key that you are going to get after creating a user because you are accessing the you will still access the command line you are just using the node.js command npm run deploy 
but not just internally use your aws profile to understand in which region in which account and who is the user deploying the the application to the aws without these credentials which belongs to the user you cannot uh, really access the aws resources that's a prerequisite so what all prerequisites we talked about aws account and administrator user node.js cli which needs to be there vs code and aws cdk toolkit we can just do a simple npm install minus z aws cdk which we can install i mean currently my node version is okay 16.18.0 i may be already having the aws cdk so aws cdk provides all the the commands which we can use to okay zsh i i mean i need to configure it in this so i can access it so aws cdk command provide us a mechanism to create a simple applications let's say i am just choosing a simple typescript okay typescript workshop and i will just use a cdk init command so okay this is cdk i forgot that cdk command gives me all the options So it will ask you like okay what do you want cdk init app if you want to create a uh, simple applications then you can create it like this so I, i'm going to focus more on the javascript typescript so we will use the language cdk cdk init app and what is your language you are choosing because the cdk library is available in all these things and you can write your cdk infrastructure as a code using all these language and technologies Oh, that's good that's good thing sample app labor app we can create what we are going to do is this is my repository if you look at we'll talk about it so this is our workshop aws cdk workshop and we are going to just create these simple packages one package will be just creating s3 bucket one package creating ec2 instance one package will create a sns s3 and all and how this is going to be used in our uber eats clone is we are going to create an infra folder for each and every service and each and every front end app an infra folder will have all the the required typescript code which will help us to deploy that application or that resource to the aws first we will play a little bit with the aws cdk workshop here we will understand some stuff and then these all these things will be utilized in uber it's clone app okay so coming back here okay this is the repository we have i will go to the code again so here we are going to use aws cdk this is a toolkit and we already know what all things we need so just create a simple profile create a you need to have a aws account just create an administrator user and get ready with the rock and roll so here i will just go to this repository what do i have currently here i will just show this in the vs code also but it's just a simple npm workspace which is having nx nx is a mono repo if you talk about the code inside these packages we will be adding okay what are the the common resources we are going to need cdk s3 bucket cdk sns cdk sqs or cdk lambda cdk dynamo cdk postgres all these artifacts i'm going to create here folders i'm going to create here and then we will use these cdk commands to create these resources like a simple s3 bucket which i want to create so i should be able to do it using this so what i will do is i will go to the packages and i will just go npm run deploy command here npm which is going to use cdk and will create s3 bucket for us so this is just like a prerequisites um, the preparation phase you can say these are all preparations we are doing and this is the annex so let me clone this and i will just open this for us So I'm cloning this and I will open this in the VS code. Okay, nice and clean. These are my packages and what do I have? Simple npm workspace. 
here you can see the workspace why because i am using the packages this is npm workspace you can use a pnpm workspace and add nx on top of that or you can use a yarn workspace add nx on top of that this is just a, a simple npm workspace and we are going to add things inside a package so if you just do a simple command to create a new package how you do it so cdk packages and we already know the command cdk cd demo app and we can just run this command okay so it will give us simple typescript skeleton project cdk init app this is the demo app so why i want to do it because i don't want to write all these packages and ts config i mean it's just a every cli tool provides these generators which are helpful for bootstrapping a simple application so it's not an application here it is giving us a simple setup which we can use to deploy the resources to aws so let's see this inside bin we have a demo of ts so it's like a simple demo stack inside this stack it will have a constructs so in the first video i talked about the stack and the constructs these um, like sqs sns s3 ec2 cloudfront uh, all these are constructs which we are going to create construct means resources and they will get added to a particular stack like i'm creating a simple stack for my front end app so stack can be a uh, dashboard ui stack dashboard ui stack can have your s3 cloudfront route 53 all these are the constructs for it so you, you can see simply here is nothing much package json it has the dependency of aws cdk lib and all this is given to us and this is cdk json and this is simple setup now to deploy this currently it doesn't contain anything we can just talk about cdk init and the basic command cdk synth so if i just go to package json first of all i will go to the root and we can just do npm install And then we can just run couple of commands onto this uh, package npm run build and all. So you can say there is a cdk command also there. Packages demo app npm run build. What it will do? It will just simply build this project. We have all the dependencies tests. Okay, it should be commented because we don't have any tests yet. If you want to use test, then all the testing libraries should be there. So let's come keep it commented. So it is just doing a simple build and npm run. If I just do, there is a script npm run cdk. Why I use this types? So we are going to add these commands cdk in deploy so let's say if i just do a cdk deploy it won't work i'm just showing it because you need a, a, to provide your stack name and all to deploy the cdk so cdk deploy it will check uh, prerequisites now we didn't specify the stack and the environment and nothing has been specified nothing has been configured so what we will do is unable to resolve aws account to use it must be either configured first of all aws account then you need to provide a stack name which you want to deploy otherwise it won't work so let's uh, so, so this is just a simple basic setup what you need to do is just do a git clone this repository and then we will start doing a preparation i will also create my admin uh, admin user and configure my aws so simply aws configure provide your aws key access key and secret key and the reason in which your account is created reason in which you want to create the resources and the admin user okay let's see that in the next video so what we are doing is here you can see we have a user group sandbox users that has permissions of administrator access we are just going to add a user this cdk user i have added 
This is also having now administrator access and I am user change password access. We need to worry about administrator access, which it is there. MFA for now we can leave it and security credentials. We can generate access key and then we will delete it. So this is going to use, let's say other. Create access key and secret key. So we got both of these things. We will configure it in our AWS CLI and we will be just done with this. We can also download it. I have downloaded it done. So I can see I have a user group and this user has been created that has an access to administrator account. So what I will do is I will log in with this account. Here you will see access key ID and this is the ARN and uh, how you can log in. So this user has been created. This is the console sign in link. You can use it. We already have created access key and secret key for this. I can use this console sign in link. So this is using the, this is going to log in the TK Sarma CDK username is CDK user and the password to remember. and I can access my account now. So what we need to do here is I already have access key and secret key downloaded. I will do the AWS configure and we are going to access this US East one region. There are like multiple regions are there on the global scale. So we are going to use US East one region and we are going to create a resources here. So let's do AWS configure. And here we have access key ID and we got secret key enter and the use default reason is US East one. So our basic CLI setup is done. Now what we need to do is we can just start playing with the CDK commands so works workshop link and here we have these simple commands cdk in it to just create a bootstrap a simple project for the typescript and then cdk synth command it synthesizes your platform like you have written some code but aws doesn't understand your code what it will do is using cdk cli we are executing this cdk synth command what it will do is it will just generate the cloud formation template for you like based on the resources you have written inside your AWS inside your code. Currently, we don't we are not uh, adding anything. Let's see. We have we let's create a real stack. Here is our app. And here we need to specify the environment also. Inside the stack, let's enable these things. So here it is just like creating a simple SQS queue. Okay, now if you just do a simple synth again. It is using CDK synth command. You can have a different different command in your package.json. So now it will have those instructions to create the resources. Okay. So what I will do is CDK JSON and here you will see CDK out. These are the artifacts has been created. These are uh, formally called cloud formation artifacts. This is a JSON file. These are the assets which a, we are planning to create. This is a simple template. Okay, so we need to specify the environment to this. I mean, we need to specify on which environment you are creating this resources. So CDK default account, either you just populate these variables through the ENV or just put here export cdk default account and your account id some numeric okay and cdk default region export cdk default region and you will just specify us east one okay and then we will just so this is the this is how you can just pass the environment environment is just like a numeric key and your region So, I mean, before we deploy CDK synth and deploy, we need to know, okay, in which environment and which region 
we are going to deploy the application so we need to have the information about cdk account so let's go to our aws console so let's add all these commands first so we won't need to execute this cdk let's say bootstrap so cdk bootstrap is the command which will initialize your account cdk synth and cdk deploy these are like simple scripts i have created now how can you get your account so if you go here you can get i am user and the account id this is your account id which you are going to access so my cdk default account is this and my cdk default reason is this okay now i can just do npm run cdk bootstrap So what it will do is it is executing cdk bootstrap command it is bootstrapping this account it is just preparing this so that we can create the resources so we already have administrator permission let's see how it goes cdk toolkit creating a cloud permission change set so till now we are going step by step on uh, creating the resources and it is just going to initialize the account and then just will allow us to create the resources using cloud formation so cdk toolkit and we can we won't see much changes in the code it is just executing this so we have to wait for some time okay and we can see this environment has been bootstrap this is the first step we need to do cdk bootstrap and now you can do cdk synth npm run cdk synthesize this is called synthesize okay for now i'll just try to do deploy and see what do i have in the stack let's see i have created a simple so this is my stack and i do have a q construct this is the resources which i am thinking to create so let's see how it goes so it's building the assets so first of all it initializes the environment using cdk bootstrap and it has to create a couple of resources for it now this is my stack name demo app stack this is the inside this you are passing the name of the stack so you will see the same stack name on the cloud formation on the aws console so this is the demo app demo apps stack and we are passing the account region and the, what this stack contain stack contains only a single construct uh, sqsq here you can create s3 whatever the resources you wanted to do all those things we should be able to put here now would you what you would see on the console what is happening it is creating these resources using cloud formation so here we will go cloud formation and you will see some activity happening on the aws because this cdk deploy command is creating the stack for us first of all it did cdk toolkit cdk toolkit is required to bootstrap your environment so once you do cdk bootstrap it create this cdk toolkit it's like a default stack which needs to be there so that we can execute a cdk commands and now it is creating this and you can see the resources what it is creating demo app sqs queue and all these events like what create is in progress what actually it is creating we could have given a proper name it is actually creating sqs queue here this is the type of the resource and this is the resource so this is like a create in progress it will take some time because we are creating sqs queue it can be simple s3 bucket or ec2 instance for ec2 instance you also need to bootstrap okay you need to provide the input for which vpc in which you are going to create a ec2 instance but for simple s3 bucket because you wanted to host your front end applications so you can just provide a simple s3 bucket configuration so these are called constructs which you are getting from aws cdk toolkit cdk lib these are the constructs so we are just creating the simple class this is the stack name and it is extending the cdk stack and here we are passing the props so here we are passing then we are getting the environment and we are getting all the props from this so here we can extend these props and we can pass anything because it's just a class we are calling and then inside this stack we can just decide okay what needs to be done with all these props but here you need to call the super class constructor 
for the CDK stack and then now you create your construct. Now if you look at the as uh, look at the AWS console this is has been created we have created an SQS queue if you look into the event stack info this is the stack info and even if you go to SQS forget about what is SQS but it has created that kind of a resource by just what we did is we just created a just uh, added a two lines of code and it has created this stack this SQS queue SQS queues for use for messaging for asynchronous uh, event driven approach when you want to allow uh, two services to communicate with one another you send a message to the queue and then there is a listener service which will listen to this SQS queue let's not go into that detail because we are not targeting that here we are able to create a cloud formation so what these commands basic commands we executed so if you look into the package JSON CDK bootstrap to bootstrap the account CDK synth and CDK deploy now I don't want to keep it for longer I can maybe I will just remove this queue stack from here let's see what happens it should be able to purge these resources which has been created so I went just to CDK deploy it will see now the change what you have created a change in the code you have removed this queue right so it will just uh, create this local uh, assets and then it will send it to the cloud formation checking what has been changed you can uh, delete the resource you can update the resource you can create the resource and we can see a uh, delete in progress and manually we can also delete this stack I think there is a command cdk destroy that also we can use so it will just clean up the resources has been created by that stack cloud formation stack and you can see the cloud formation push has started if we just see this update in progress and what it is updating it should be deleting a resource based on yeah you can see delete in progress so what it is deleting it is deleting the SQS queue which we created because I commented those lines of code so it will delete that stack now for me you can see delete in progress so I mean this is really how you are going to play with AWS through the code I need SQS SNS simple lambda for which we, using which I'm going to deploy my simple nest.js service simple s3 bucket and, and cloud formation using which I'm going to deploy my react app this is how you are going to play and in parallel to your source code you are going to create these stack I'm a small simple application which contains your stack here I will, will just put provide some better names and the stack will use these constructs to create a AWS resources I think there is a cdk destroy command is also there that should uh, delete the resources this is a deploy I will talk about it do we have something like that okay this is doing a cleanup delete the sample code I mean if you just delete it what it will do is it will just clean up the resources your resources will be deleted so what actually we will be doing this is you writing a code creating API gateway and lambda and you can see our resources deleted so at least we are not getting uh, built for anything because queue has been deleted we are not consuming any particular resources but this is how you are going to play with we just have a AWS CLI we configured our AWS account by using one administrator user because we have the access key and the secret key and then we are just executing these simple commands and we just generated this type script template SNS or any AWS resources for that we will just use the documentation create the construct and this is how we will go further so I hope uh, this is helpful how we were able to bootstrap a simple project and create a resource